Good morning, Pisces, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of July the 7th to the 13th, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all four times each, utilizing the numerology of the date July the 7th, 2024. That way we can dive right into the reading. All right, we are starting the week off here with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a card that signifies happiness, contentment, spiritual fulfillment. Everything is good. This is everything you want and everything that you dream of. This can also be um, an end of a cycle because this is the number 10 card, but things are coming to fruition. Things are coming to a head. You are finally starting to see the results that you are working towards, which is really amazing, Pisces. I'm really happy to see this for you. Now, another um, aspect of this card is choice, okay? So here, these people, this family, this mother, this father, this and these kids, they do live in reality like we do, okay? And we do are we are experiencing multiple different timelines, multiple different dimensions, multiple different realities on top of each other happening at the same time. Okay, especially with this great awakening that we are all going through right now. Everyone is on their own journey. Everyone is on different uh, different levels of their awakening or different points of their awakening. Not everyone's at the same time. And some people are not awake and not, not seeing what's really going on right now. Okay. But we have a choice, despite there's going to be a lot of changes happening, a lot of more chaos, a lot more noise. The old system is collapsing. They are, they know that they are losing power and they are going to be starting to get louder before they collapse, right? This is Pluto oscillating its final dance between Capricorn and Aquarius. Capricorn is top down authoritarian structure and Aquarius is people, grassroots communities coming together and governance coming from the grassroots level, okay, in smaller communities, people oriented, all right? So as we move through this transition, things are gonna get louder, things are gonna be exposed, truths are gonna be exposed, we're going to be um, shocked as to what kind of truths are coming out, the world as we know it, it's not what it seems. But you see here, this is the choice. They live in reality. They live in the reality that we all live in on this 3D realm, but they choose to be happy. They choose to focus on their family. They choose to focus on their immediate environment, growing their own food, being self-sufficient, focusing on their community, focusing on their friends, focusing on their family, focusing on building their self-sufficiency, building their skills, building the life that they want to live. They're focusing on developing themselves to their full potential. And yes, you can pay attention to what is going on in the outside world, but don't let it deter you. Don't be stuck in fear. Choose to develop yourself. Choose to focus on bettering yourself and bettering your environment, like your local, your your immediate circumstances. Okay, because if everyone started doing that, then we can uh, we can fasten, we can quicken this process. Because if everyone's working to better themselves and their community and developing their skills, so that we're not reliant on government, not reliant on other people, then we can we and we can choose how we react to certain things. We can turn off the news. We don't have to live in fear porn that they're constantly spewing to us. Okay, pay attention to what's going on, but don't let it. Don't let it guide your vibrational frequency. Don't let it affect your vibrational frequency. Don't let it affect your ability to, to go out. My mother is scared to go out in during the, like, even after like sunset or even at, at like after six o'clock at night because there are, there is constant stuff going on in the news in her city about people getting shot in the daytime stuff like that. And she's like, this is why I never go out. Like, so you know what I mean? Like, don't deter your life because of what you're hearing on the news. Pay mindful attention to it, but don't let it interfere with you living your life. You have the power to choose how you respond to things. 
actually these two wanted to come out together. All right, we have the eight of, we have the eight of wands and we have the five of wands. Okay, so this is fast mover, moving in, fast incoming communications, movement. So, you know, this is probably uh, with respects to this, some, some nice energy coming in for you, some uh, wish fulfillment, everything you want in your dream. It's, you know, the universe is matching your energy and matching your vibrational frequency that you are emitting. Okay, you're coming from a place of gratitude, you're practicing gratitude for where you've, how, how far you've come, all the work that you've done on healing yourself, all right, and you're integrating everything in the past uh, that has been a, like a struggle, but it was like everything in your life in the past that was a struggle was practice for you. This is how we need to frame our, our mind frame, okay? I am working right now on a business. I'm getting irritated with people that are uh, not communicating with me properly, like potential customers. And I'm learning, It is despite how irritating this is, I'm learning how to navigate being a businesswoman. Right. And this is the mentality that I have to everything is a lesson. Right. And this is a new domain. I've never done this before. So, yes, it is irritating. But did I expect everything to go smoothly? It would have been nice. But then, you know, I would eventually run into these problems later on. Right. Because not every customer is perfect and I have to learn how to navigate these things. So every sort of this is you see how they're not fighting with swords here. They're fighting with wands. OK, so this is that they're, they're developing their skill. They are mastering their fighting uh, strategies, okay? So they are practicing everything. And this is about conflict and competition. So everything in your past that you have gone through, you are integrating it. And like, I feel like you are alchemizing everything and things are moving quickly for you you are integrating your lessons you're integrating your past traumas trials and tribulations very and and this is happening very swiftly and it is a, a and you are appreciating all of the things that you have gone through and this is helping in your practicing gratitude for them despite how hard they might have been for you and this is a lot this is helping you magnetize and attract uh all of this ten of cups energy which is which is amazing you are not the victim pisces you are definitely not the victim you are you are utilizing this as few all of the things that you've gone through in the past as fuel to help you move forward and to help you attract what you want in life which is which is the, the main this is the this is the trick of life, right? So we also have um, a guy here with uh, polka dots. Polka dots in the tarot indicate that you need to have a little bit more fun too. So yes, I feel that you are having more fun. And if you're not, uh, start, uh, start seeing things in life like a child would with awe and have more um, try to balance out everything with a little bit more fun you see here we also have the, the children they are dancing so i feel that like you are integrating you are alchemizing and you are having more fun and your vibration like i'm feeling a really light like really light energy here for you really flowy really like something's been taken um taken off of your shoulders okay all right and then we have the ten of swords so we started with the ten and we ended with the ten we started with the ten of cups and we're ending with the ten of swords so something is dead done and over with and I think like it's this period of like struggle like struggle will never be over in life okay this is the constant thing that i've learned and it's just how you approach these things right so i feel that you are approaching a crescendo moment here with respects to some sort of chapter being over here so this is going to be different for everyone because this is a general reading so take it how it resonates 
but I, so when I put these two together, like this is these, so you are done with some sort of lesson that you have been going through right now. You're integrating it, you're alchemizing it, you're not feeling like the victim and you are making whatever this lesson was making you stronger. And then now, now you, this, the, you're, bleh. you are attracting because you're coming with gratitude. You are being grateful for the lessons, for what they've taught you. And now you are being able to attract. This is forward moving energy here and really quick as well. And this is the eight of wands can also signify um, like putting an intention out there. So you need to be specific. You need to be laser like, like an air, you're shooting an arrow to a bullseye of what you want. Okay. And the trick here is, is that you want to be specific with your end goal but not in the means of how the universe can provide it to you. So say that you want to be a millionaire, for example, and you say, universe, can you please let me win the lottery so that I can be a millionaire? So that's your being a millionaire is your end goal, but you're really limiting how the universe can provide that for you. Now, someone did mention in the comments that, you know, you can become a millionaire by someone dying in your family. And believe it or not, this is something that I include in my, when I do my intentions and my manifestations is that I say, I say I'm a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, philanthropist, and a pillar in my community. And this is, uh, I'm, oh, I'm open to how the universe can provide this for me, but I do not want anybody in my family dying for me to receive an inheritance to get this money. Okay. That's being specific too, right? Okay. So you want to be direct. You want to be, and I think you're already on this trajectory here. I'm just going to get two cards to, to, to kind of go with these two kind of themes here that we got here. All right. So with the 10 of cups and the eight of wands, we have the hanged man. So you are seeing things from a different perspective. And I think that this is all about seeing your trials, tribulations, traumas, and challenges as uh, positive. And yes, they can be irritating. Yes, they can be annoying because it makes it, it slows down like your progress sometimes. But in the end, it is all for your own good, right? Things happen for you, not to you. And so you see here, this is a card that is, uh, illustrates the god Odin, actually. And he sacrificed himself to himself by hanging himself on the world tree so he can gain more knowledge about the universe and he even sacrificed his own eye to the well of Mimir in order to gain the knowledge of the runes. You see how he is enlightened here. Okay, so so you're gaining different perspectives and I think that this is like the sacrificing yourself to yourself is that you are willing to keep going through like you you kind of are grateful you are willing to put yourself in challenge sorry I'm something in my eye you're willing to put yourself in challenging situations because you know in the end it's going to make you stronger okay so this is really nice to see and so perhaps you are also um yeah that's all I'm pretty much getting there okay I'm not gonna make things up just to fill in time mm, 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 mm. So with the five of wands and the 10 of swords, we have the 10 of pentacles now. So you have three tens, okay? You have the 10 of, we have the 10 of cups, the 10 of swords, and now we have the 10 of pentacles. So something is clearly dead, done and over with in like a good way. Like I think it's like a period, a period of struggle, um is over but you are alchemizing it you're using it as fuel to better yourself and this is proving to be really good for you financially even so um 
It, this could be money coming in for you. This could be opportunities coming in for you um, because this is what you are manifesting. You are attracting this with your vibrational frequency and you are not allowing things to lower your vibrational frequency. You are seeing the diamond in the rough. You are seeing the silver lining in the cloud, right? And you're using everything as fuel to make you better. And uh, this can also signify um, creating a legacy. So even this could be a reputational re legacy. Maybe you are focusing on your community. Maybe you're building things in your community. Um, maybe within your career. Uh, this can, uh, this, but this can also be monetary legacy that you're leaving to your family. Okay, so intergenerational wealth coming in here. Okay. So I and I think that like a period of struggle is over, and now you're you're kind of moving into some it's like maybe money's coming in and now that you're able to kind of take a deep breath kind of thing so you're like and, and this the, the amount of money is going to be different for everybody because like it could be a small amount of money coming in it could be a larger amount of money depending because this is a general reading but i'm i am getting some some kind of community thing oriented as well because there's a different story here uh there's another story about the ten of pentacles which indicates that See this, this old man here, there's, so he, in one aspect of the story, he can be the patriarch of the family who has developed a legacy and he's passing it on to his, his, the, the generations moving forward, like I had mentioned. But then there's another story that indicates that he's a beggar off the street and that this couple has taken them, him in, provided him with some respite from the streets giving him some clothes, giving some food, some rest. So he, they're taking care of their community. And that is something that I had mentioned before as well, right? All right, so let's end off here with a Sacred Geometry Oracle card. And we have the Calm Within. The Calm Within, you're staying calm despite things that happened in your life, but you're, because you're making, you see how the value in things that they can teach you inner peace. The image on this card speaks to the ongoing process of returning to our calm within. Your life is likely filled with many wondrous things, family, friends, lovers, job, study. Each serves to stimulate and bring greater joy and growth, right? There's the growth. Each is important in defining who you are at this point in your life. Each consumes a piece of your time and energy. Occasionally, you experience periods when all the many things that compose daily life accumulate and become more than you can handle. This creates frustration and anxiety and disrupts the flow of positive creative energy. Do, your, do you find yourself overstimulated by people and responsibilities? Try this simple exercise. View this card or close your eyes and hold it to your heart. Sit and breathe rhythmically, allowing your breath to flow in and out in a relaxed manner. Didn't I not just say that they go, <sighs> that's how you're feeling? Okay, that's interesting. Ask that everyday cares leave your mind for just long enough so you may find the calm within and nurture who you truly are. Ask your inner guidance to offer wisdom as to what is most important and release what you can. When you are relaxed and centered, when you truly feel peace, gently re-enter re your day with this calm perspective. Now I'm gonna, something popped into my mind, I'm gonna share it with you, is that um, you might wanna look up Kundalini Yoga. Uh, that, that's a lot of breathing uh, techniques and you're just doing a lot of breathing and you feel like amazing afterwards. And there's some chanting as well, um, but it's a very good way to center yourself and uh, tap into your inner inner magic okay so if this reading resonated for you please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel that is something that you'd like to do you could also hit that bell notification to let you know when i release new videos and if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week not only check out your sun sign but also your moon your rising and your venus i am truly grateful for all the energy you provided me here today thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week